Hey guys, hey my friends. Hey guys, it's Chelsea. Welcome to this video blog. Today I want to answer a question. How do you know if you have a special purpose in life? How do you know if you are a chosen one by the universe? If you have this special mission, maybe you are inspired by certain people on social media. It feels like they have it all that they have the purpose and they have the mission they have the desire and the drive and it looks like the people are looking up to them the people are following them is this you maybe you have this special purpose just as well so let me share with you certain things that will help you to understand your own mission so sign number one remember your childhood now this is so important spend your time like take your time and remember the details about your childhood maybe ask your parents ask people who knew you as a child ask them specific questions describe me what was i like what did i like to do you know maybe you were in the arts maybe you were a good dancer maybe you had some really special talents when you were a child but then as you were getting more and more socially open maybe later you changed and you were molded into some social you know just to fit in and going back to your childhood is a really good way for you to remember the truth of who you are your spirit your soul your authentic self so by analyzing, by remembering your childhood, your interests, your desires, the fire in your eyes, what was that all about? So this will give you a good clue about your own purpose. So sign number two that you have a special mission is that sometimes you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. You feel people's pain and you, are, you really care. You really, really care. You want people to succeed. You want this world to be a better place. You care that you know, there's violence in this world. You care that animals get hurt. You care about environment. You care about education. You care about other people, not just in your neighborhood, but also in other parts of the world, people you've never seen and then people who are suffering. And deep inside, you really want to help and you are trying to make a difference maybe by your contributions to charities maybe you you know volunteering some places maybe something you do you know when nobody else sees such as you're praying you're asking angels to help those people because you really really care about this planet and about people so and sometimes it really feels like it's too much it's like the whole world is on your shoulders but if you have this deep soul caring you have a special mission so sign number three that you are the chosen one that you have a special special purpose is when you look back when you reflect when you contemplate upon your life you see adversity and you see how you have to overcome adversity and how your challenges made you stronger so all challenges are ways to really build your strength and your character and if you have a special mission you will face adversity and sometimes really really strong adversity you have to sometimes rise from ashes sometimes you have to lift yourself up when nobody else can help you because you know you have something special to give you know that you have something special that this world needs and adversity is a stepping stone to stronger you to better you to more connected you okay sign number four you are a learner you have no idea 
how many times I meet people and they have this attitude like, hey, you know, I'm good. I already know this stuff. You know, it doesn't matter. If you are a leader, if you have a special mission, you never, never stop learning. Every single day you wake up as a beginner, as a student, it's like, show me the way. What do I need to know? The beginning of wisdom is you realizing that you don't know anything, but you're ready to learn. So your ability to learn, if you look at great mystics, if you look at great sages, <laughs> teachers, they were open-minded. They always had this idea that there's something else to learn. I'm not all-knowing. I'm not all powerful. I am just giving you the information that I have, but there is so much information. Even I cannot process this information in my lifetime. So the way that the world meets you with information is an opportunity and your ability to be open, to receive information, to be able to admit your mistakes. That's another very important quality of someone who has a mission. Your ability to see what you could have done better. Things that you have done that hurt other people. Your ability to apologize for something that you have done also takes a lot of strength and courage and power. So admitting your own mistakes, changing your behaviors because now when you know better you do better when you become this learner life long learner it's a tongue twister lifelong learner you know that you have a special mission because the universe loves people who are ready to learn because there is just so much to learn sign number five you know that you have special mission when you begin to recognize your strength. When you begin to focus on your strength, the universe gives you energy in certain areas. Maybe you are a writer and that's something that comes really easy for you. And maybe you're not good with science and math but if you're spending your precious time trying to you know wreck your brain and focus on your weaknesses and improve yourself in areas which don't inspire you and instead of really building your strength maybe writing is your thing maybe writing is where the universe really wants to move maybe that's where the universe wants to give you the energy and courage and open many doors for you you need to really understand your strength your strength are the clues where the universe is guiding you yes of course you know we still need to work on certain things improve certain things but if you are investing your precious time and energy, working really hard by doing something that you know is not in your heart, that's not your strength. That's not something that is in your heart. You are moving away from your purpose. All people who were chosen, they followed their strength. Something that they were naturally good at. Something that they were naturally inspired by. And then, my friends, their mission was revealed to them. Their mission was straight in their face. When you follow your strength, you are the chosen one. So here go my friends. I hope this was helpful. And if you wanna share your stories, put them in comments below. If you want to ask me questions, go to joycekraus.com. I love you, be well and blessed. Chat with you in the next video.